So I wanted to start this series of From My Bed uh, with a story, a bedtime story, if you like. Um, and that's a story of a novel that I started writing five years ago. It was a novel set during the Spanish Civil War, and there was going to be a love story there. It was set in Madrid in the early part of the war, those first turbulent months of 19, of the summer and autumn of 1936. Um, when Madrid was really like a gangster town. It was like Chicago in the 1920s. And I think importantly for this story, the protagonist was going to be a photographer. So as I was doing research for this novel, I was getting deeper and deeper into the research um, and enjoying it thoroughly. Um, but I realized that I didn't know very much about photography, particularly the kind of photography people were doing back in 1936. And so on a whim, I suddenly found myself buying a camera from the period. And that camera was this. It's a Leica 3A, and it's the kind of camera that people were using um, back in 1936. And in fact, this very model dates from 1936. I wanted to get something that somebody of in the book, somebody that I was writing about, would actually have been using. And this very camera was what I found. And so I thought, fantastic, great. Now I can do my research properly. So to cut a long story short, a few weeks later, I had everything that a photographer needs to make photographs. I had the camera, I had film, I had developing kit, and I'd set up a dark room in a corner of my garage and I had all the trays and an enlarger and all the chemicals. And I was very busy taking photographs, developing photographs and printing photographs, making photographs, but I had no novel. <laughs> What I'd done is I'd fallen into a trap, which I have often identified to other people, to students and people who ask me about writing, which is don't <laughs> over research, don't do too much research. And it meant that I actually had no book. And in fact, that the book has still to be written and maybe never will. I'm not sure. Now, out of this, however, it wasn't a complete loss because I had discovered basically a new love, which was photography. And it was, I suppose, a life-changing moment for me. I need to try and explain what the experience was like of finding, discovering photography and falling in love with it and why it was so important to me. It's as though you were sort of moving into, all of a sudden, moving into like a parallel universe, a parallel world, essentially, that had always been there beside you or beside me. And yet I was only vaguely aware of it, if at all. And, but it was a wonderful, magical world of uh, structures and textures and meaning and quite acute ambiguities. And there was a whole world of potential there. And I really was absolutely captivated by it. Now, usually I'm the kind of person, I, I tend to have a fairly low boredom threshold. What happens generally is that I sort of get quite intensely into a new project and I'll be uh, engaged in it for weeks, months, maybe even a year or so. Um, before moving on to the next thing. And this is actually quite good for being a writer because when you're a writer, you this is how it works for me. I work very intensely on a book project. And then when I finished, um, I'm ready to move on. Once I've finished a book, I'm ready to move on to the next project, the next book, which is perhaps why I'm not very good at self-publicity because by the time the book's ready and out there, I'm already, I've already turned to other things, to the next book. With photography, however, I started five years ago, it was back in 2017, and I'm still fascinated by it. And so I think what I'd like to say with this video is that after 20 years of writing books and calling myself an author, I've written 15 odd books maybe, maybe a few more, um, I'm now ready to start calling myself a photographer as well. And I think the two art forms absolutely complement each other. For me, they really do. Photography is a language in itself and it allows me to express things that I can't do with words. And actually each art form, the writing and the photography, express quite deep subtleties but in very different ways. And what I've found is that they can work together extremely well. And so what I will be doing in the future from now on is not only will I be sharing books with you and new writings, but I will also be 
sharing photographs, um, some of the photographs that I've been doing over the past few years. And I'll be doing future videos in uh, on the subject photography. I'll also be showing, I'll be showing at the end of this video, I'll be showing some photographs that I've that I've done are just a sample and I'll be doing other photographs uh, sorry other videos as well talking about photography why I shoot what I shoot um, what photography means to me um, and also why I shoot because I started with this camera it's an old-fashioned film analog camera and I've stuck with that I still do black and white analog film photography and I'll probably be doing a video on why that is and what it means to me so I'll be, there'll be more information on this but for the time being, I just wanted to share this with you. And I just wanted to let you know that some of my photographs will be appearing on here, on video, but also in on various platforms, the usual social media platforms and on my website. So I hope you like them. I hope you appreciate them. And um, welcome to this new chapter in my career. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.